order to use an application control device such as ISOBUS, serial rate, virtual rate or field IQ rate control, you must first create a material and assign it to the appropriate channel. If your implement type has not been configured with a flow control device, no material is required. Precision IQ will record the amount of coverage of each material applied to your fields. This data can then be sent back to your office for efficient and effective data management. To create and assign a material, use the material tile. The material setup will appear in different ways depending on whether you have a single channel control or a multi-channel control configuration. For a single control implement, the available material will be filtered by the material type that the control location is configured to. You can also choose to disable this control channel for the implement if you choose. If your implement is configured with more than one control channel, each channel will be displayed with its assigned material. Simply select the location that you want to assign or edit a material for. To create a new material, press New. Give your material a name to identify it. This can either be a variety or the chemical brand. Next, select the appropriate category for this material. The category allocation will predetermine the availability of this material depending on the application control channel setup. For example, a control channel set up for a granular fertilizer will not have the options of assigning a liquid or a row crop seed or anhydrous. You also need to assign a type. The type selection will be predefined from your previous selection of the category. Distribution units will be the units of application that this product needs to be applied. Choose the appropriate application units for the operation you are performing. If setting up a granular fertilizer, you will need to enter in the material density. This is an important part for the calibration process. The material density can also be updated during the day via the run screen. Each material has the ability of having two predefined target rates. These target rates are used as the default rates for this material when the field is first opened. If using a master switch box, it is important to realize that switching the manual rate increment button between rate 1 and rate 2 on the switch box will change all control channels from rate 1 to rate 2. The rate increment setting will be the value used when increasing or decreasing the rate either via the run screen or the master switch box. Pressing the increase or decrease button will change the target rate by this set amount. If using a master switch box, using the rate increment button will change the rate for each channel according to their predefined increment value. You also need to set a minimum and maximum rate for each material. The minimum and maximum rate can be used to prevent an operator from setting the rate outside of these parameters. For example, a maximum rate of 100 kilos per hectare will mean that the operator cannot use the increase button to increase the rate of application above 100 kilos per hectare. You can also choose to fill out the optional material details section. However, this is not a necessary requirement in order to use the material. With all fields populated, press the save button. Your new material will be displayed as well as its summary of configurable settings. Once a material is created, you can assign it by pressing the Select Material button. The implement with one channel will display the assigned product in the Materials tile. An implement with more than one control channel, you will need to enter in the Material tile to view the summary.